Welcome to our comprehensive guide of cabins on a Tui River cruise ship. We were fortunate enough to be shown round the majority of cabin grades available on this ship. We start you off with the cabin we stayed in, the French Balcony Suite, and then we take you all the way through to the cheapest option on the ship, the outside Porto cabins. Hopefully this video will allow you to choose what cabin suits your budget best and your needs. Right then, so let's show you around our French balcony suite. We've been staying in 209 on the Tui Isla. We have. And there's Paulie Morgan. Hello there. <laughs> so, let's start right at the very beginning. So on the back of the door you have all your safety oh, yes. information as you would on an ocean cruise ship. And let's start with the storage on this side of the cabin because it's just mad. We haven't used this end have we? No. We because haven't. we've got plenty. Right just popped our little backpack there. down there. So you've got a full length wardrobe here plus you've got two cupboards here. It's also where you find your safe. Yes, which isn't huge as you can see, it's not deep, you couldn't get, um, you just about fit your iPad in there isn't yeah. it, but not a laptop. But again, you've got some more shelves, um, which we haven't used. <laughs> and then you come to your sort of um, charging station, that, there's the Vox boxes that if you've been watching our vlogs, you'll know that they have to be charged up ready for your excursions, which worked really well hasn't it? Yes, and long story short, you hang that round your neck, your tour guide tells you which channel you need to be on. It's got an earpiece, yeah, and yeah, you can be within twenty or thirty yards. Of yeah, where you're it's worked exactly really well. So we've thoroughly awesome. enjoyed the excursions, haven't we? Yeah. And this is our obviously we've got kettle and you've got tea and coffee. We bring our own um, coffee and sweeteners just because we like to. And then when we arrived, there were these two e water bottles um, on our bed, which uh, we were told that we can use the um, tap water, which yeah. has worked fine, hasn't it? Yeah. Every, so they've been. Or, or, um, I know there's a bit of a debate on ocean cruises if you can drink the water but um yeah he has been fine certainly on here 100 percent safe and we got a fridge which because we're in a suite we have some complimentary drinks in there and we got we got some milk that we bought in from the yeah. restaurant but when you have your room made up they <coughs> excuse me they do replenish top, that top up your yeah drink, sure. so when it, with the suite that's the the one of the perks that you do get everyone gets a water bottle and like i say the tap water is safe now they don't automatically do your cabin, um, change your cabin up, do you? Unless you ask for it. So you have to turn this over and hang that on your door. Um, which has worked well, hasn't yeah, it? Nice. And we don't need it to uh, every day. Unfortunately, that's what has been hanging on our door most of the time because we're sleepers. <laughs> and also the same if you want all your ch um, sheets changed. But anything we've wanted has been brilliant, hasn't it? The staff on the ship have been fantastic. A Ala line in the reception's been. Oh, she's, a she's, laugh. she's such a laugh. As brilliant. Well. She worked me out quite quickly, really. She I'm did. Not taking any but anything you need, they, 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 they sort it out. So we've got a nice little sofa here um, with a lamp and a little table and we've got this fantastic bed this has been so comfortable on it yeah. Paul it's been lovely and by each side of the bed you've got your a USB port and you've got a lamp which is brilliant and we've got little side um, cupboards here too which we haven't used so let's go around to the other side of our suite now having this suite is we're so glad we did because it wasn't much more expensive than a standard french balcony cabin wasn't it because here you've got a whole section where because we do a little bit of blogging when we're away it's been really really good um to get a little bit of work done but also it's just space for stuff yeah <laughs> and then you've got your three, um, three drawers. drawers i mean like i said we didn't even need to use the no. one but use the next two and yeah. you've got a large TV here. Yeah. And also you've got more plugs. So many plugs in this cabin, um, which has been brilliant. And I love this bit. Look at this. As you walk towards the bathroom, it's like a walk-in wardrobe, and which is, you know, all this storage is just crazy. It's been brilliant. So that's why we haven't used the rest of it. And you've got two. These are the more sort of um, thin wardrobes. We were very hopeful bringing sunglasses, but haven't really had to use them. But um, again, more storage there. So let's take you into the bathroom, which Paul and I both love. It's the biggest bathroom I think we've had on any it's, it's, ship it's not, we've been on. One of them, yeah. um, if you walk in here, look at this. This is the one end of the shower where you get your molten brown uh, toilet is. And look, 
how big it is. And the pe- show has been really powerful, really hot. Um, it's been fantastic. We've loved it. So, as you can see, it's just huge. You could get about good six people in there, can you, Paulie? Well, there was five or six for sharing in there last night. <laughs> no, there was not. Anyway, and the toilets are toilets. And then you get your, your sink and, like, obviously, your um, toiletries here as well. You also get another... Um, where you got your hair dryer and another towel. Okay. Mm. There is a shaver point, but the shaver point is not compatible with our toothbrush, which we've had on lots of cruises. So that won't fit yeah. into that. So um, we, we bring, bought an adapter, yeah. which you just plug that into. And, and we put, plugged it outside, which plug, worked well, yeah. didn't it? Right. So let's just go out and tell you one other big bonus about this cabin. Oh yes, because we're um, guests in the suite, we've got a uh, river cruise um, dressing gowns. Paulie will get there in a minute. I can't find it, where is it? Oh, what are you doing? I'm just trying to find where it's at. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes, two of you with the cruises. Yes. And they've been great, haven't they? Yes, and uh, again, unlike a lot of um, when we've been given bathrobes, usually they're about a size four. Yes. And we're not. <laughs> yeah. So they wrap around properly. And they do. we also got slippers, which we haven't used because this carpet, I've been walking around bare feet most of the time because um, it's so soft and plush, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's blooming lovely. So, what That's we've loved really a bit... Yeah. No, I'll show them, oh. boy. So this is why we wanted a French balcony. Think this um, is, is this what they call, because it's French, the pièce de résistance? <laughs> so this is what... Ooh, look, you're just in time to watch Avalon Art, if Paul got out of the way. Sorry. Avalon Artistry going away. So we open up the doors. Look at this. This is... We love being on deck two because we're really close to the water. Um, and you get these views. We're currently in Malk in Austria. And it looks like there's some big locks up there, locks ahead. We've gone through 11 locks. Um, do check out our vlogs because we've got some interesting uh, experiences of that. Where's Paulie Morgan? There he is. And the bonus of having a French balcony suite is you get um, nearly double the size. Yeah. So you get two windows. And this has been fabulous. Just sat on the bed or sat on this sofa here and literally just watching the world go by. But we've loved this cabin. Yes. Uh, we definitely stay in this category yeah, of cabin again. Thing, no, and we try to think of what don't we like about this cabin. But there's nothing, is there? Yeah, right then, so next up is um, a French balcony suite on deck three, 303. And this is the most expensive cabin available on the ship. Yeah. We've got a suite who you will have seen on deck two, um, which was slightly cheaper just because we're nearer the waterline. Um, as you can see... This suite is exactly the same as the one we booked. It's one deck higher, which does give you some extra privacy. In terms of size, the French balcony suites have a floor space of 24 square metres. So now we're having a look around uh, cabin 2 and 2, which is a standard French balcony cabin. Uh, as you see, it's dark in the rest, only because uh, Tui Skylar's literally just parked next door, uh, which is one thing that you do get with river cruises, which... Uh, we could talk about in our other videos. So, um, anyway, back to this cabin. Again, a fairly decent size, isn't yeah, it, Paulie? Yeah. A lot more room t towards the end of the bed. You've got your TV, you've got your chair, you've got your little lots stool of, there. Lots of yeah, space. Yeah, lots of storage. Lots of cupboards. Also, you've got um, your electric points on either side of the bed. And you've got your coffee station here and you've got your mini bar. So, um, yeah, nothing else to report there, is there? No, sir. You've got your safe and your kettle there and lots of storage here. And if we take a look at the bathroom, it's those glass-fronted doors again, which are a little unusual, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but when you actually get in there, this is a really decent size um, for a shower on a cruise ship, isn't it? Very good size. And again, the same um, facilities as the other cabins got. So there we are. And like I said, it's just a little bit more plush. You've got your chair, yeah. painted on the wall, yeah. and you've got some mirrors, on, obviously, on the, on the wardrobe door. Yeah, mirrors as well. which is so, different uh, from, yeah. uh, from deck one, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, so there we are. So that's uh, 212. 
So now we're on the third floor looking at um, 305, which is actually a superior French balcony cabin. And you can see you just get that little bit more room. So, um, and you're just a little bit higher off the water level than we are in our cabin, which actually isn't too bad, is no. it? So that's that's good. Again, you get your plugs by the window, uh, by the window, by the side of the bed. You've got um, all this storage space here in your TV. You've also got a complimentary uh, mini bar, which is there. Yeah. And you've also got all the tea and, and so everyone gets kettles yeah, and, sure. and tea um, facilities. And again, a good amount of storage. Yeah. And you've got a little vanity desk there. Yeah, them. you do, with the, the stool. So you've got two um, chairs in effect, haven't you, yeah. in this? More storage, and you've also got a safe. So every cabin's got a safe, which is good to see, because we do like a safe, don't we, Paulie? And a big wardrobe. And then you've got the glass fronted doors again for the um, for the bathroom, but again a brilliant size. And with your Melton Brown toiletries. So yeah, so we'd be we'd be happy in this sort of cabin, aren't we? Yeah, but we we do love our suite. So our next cabin is on deck two and it's uh, cabin two zero one and this is a single but Paul is making notes. <laughs> um, this is a single French balcony standard cabin, um, which is still a decent size. So obviously you've got the windows that open. You'll notice on this level as well that the that's quite high up, isn't it? The yeah. um, railings. But again, you've got your um, Euro plugs by the bed in, in every cabin. You've got your two e water bottles. You've got a, dis a decent sized bed for a solo cabin, isn't it, yeah, Paulie? Yeah. Um, it is tight, to be fair, at the bottom here, size wise, but you've got your TV. Um, everything is the same here. The only thing you haven't got in this cabin is a, a mini bar, but you've got obviously your tea, coffee, and I'm sure in the wardrobe yeah. you've got your safe and kettle. So. And another good size wardrobe too, isn't it? Yeah. Storage is good in all of them, yeah, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. And then in the bathroom, you've got um, again same size, isn't it? Decent size and the glass door. We do love a glass door, um, and everyone's got Melton Brown toiletries, so that's very good. And the same uh, storage oh, there. Storage, yeah, so yeah, so, so that's a. Uh, a single French balcony standard cabin. Right. So this is cabin 101, which is a standard cabin on deck one. So look here, we've got the, you're right at the waterline here with two windows. Obviously you can't open them. <laughs> you've got two um, Euro sockets by either side of the bed, which is really good. Uh, you've got your TV over here and you've got your drink station here which is the same as ours isn't it obviously it's not huge but you've got a decent sized bed loads of pillows which are lovely aren't they and you've got a really big wardrobe um where you've got your safe and you've got your kettle so um yeah and there's another wardrobe there which is a really decent size so in here as well you've got your bathroom which um again is a you know, not bad size, is it for a? Because this is the cheapest way it's into the first way in to to come on this cruise. Um, you get the shower door. Yeah, nice shower door, and you get the Melton Brown toiletries, shaving mirror, and you also get hair dryer. So that's really good, isn't it for? There's no fridge. No, there is no fridge. So um, yes, you do get your two water bottles. Um, but that's the only extra that you get. So now we're having a look around a superior standard cabin on deck one, which is the same configuration with obviously the windows. Um, but as you see, the differences are, you've got a chair there and there's a, a fridge. So... Oh yeah, just a slight bit more space, chair and table. Yeah. Um, it was drawers by the side of the... Standard. Yeah, so these are slightly different. You've yeah. still got your electric points. You've got your cupboards there. More cupboards. More cupboards there. More. You've got your TV. So um, let's have a look in here. 
you've got more cupboards and you've got your fridge in there so that's the difference between the standard on deck one and the superior which we're in also looking at the bathroom you do have sort of glass doors for in here um but it's a decent size isn't it that's very good size shower and I think the plushness on it is quite nice. It, it is, yeah, between a standard and a um, superior. You do have these glass doors, um, which are opaque. Um, but hopefully you're sharing a room with somebody you know. Yeah, exactly. So that's, um, so there you are. So that's the difference between the two d cabins on deck one. Um, yeah, it's like with the deck one, I mean, you've got all the mirrored doors and everything that you have. Yeah, it's one. just uh, got that little yeah. bit extra and the same safe and... Uh, so if you look at the, the price difference between the two, this is the, would be the one, I think, to pick, wouldn't it? Yeah. But depends on, on your budget. Yeah. We hope you found this cabin video useful so you now know which cabin you would pick for your Tui River Cruise. Thanks for watching. If you want more information regarding Tui River Cruises, watch one of these videos next.